Welcome back to Shields Up, home network safety for the rest of us. Your network is secure, your devices are updated, and your passwords are strong. But what about the threats lurking online? Today, we'll learn how to recognize and avoid common online dangers like phishing, malware, and tech support scams. This series is based off of my new book. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll have a link in the description for you. It's titled, of course, Shields Up, Home Network Security for the Rest of Us. Phishing scams often come as emails or text messages pretending to be from a trusted source, like your bank or a popular retailer. Here's how you can spot them. Look for grammar mistakes or misspellings. With the age of AI upon us, this is becoming less frequent, but it still happens, so pay attention to the grammar. A professional company or a bank is not going to send you an email with misspelled words. Check the sender's email address. Does it match the official one? A lot of times you'll see a message that says from a specific person, but if you take a few seconds to look at the actual email address, it does not match. Hover over any links to see where they're actually going to take you to. So a bad guy can create a hyperlink and put it in the body of an email and make it say anything he wants, like log into your bank here. Don't click that until you hover over it. By hovering, it will actually reveal the URL that that hyperlink will take you to. So pay attention to that. Online threats take many forms but they all have one goal, to steal your information, money, or access to your accounts. The most common threats include phishing. These are emails or messages that trick you into giving up personal information. Malware, malicious software designed to harm your devices and or steal your data. Tech support scams fraudulent calls or pop-ups claiming to fix a non-existent problem. If something feels off, do not engage. Delete the message and report it to the company that it's pretending to represent. An easy way to validate emails that you're suspicious about is to take a few minutes and call that person or company to make sure it's actually them. Malware often hides in fake downloads, suspicious pop-ups, or even email attachments. To be safe, do the following. One, only download files and apps from trusted sources. Two, be cautious with free offers or downloads that seem too good to be true. Three, keep your antivirus software up to date. Modern browsers also warn you about potentially harmful websites. Don't ignore these warnings. Tech support scams often start with a call or a pop-up claiming your device has a problem. They'll ask you to grant remote access or pay for unnecessary services. Here's how you should handle them. One, hang up immediately if someone pressures you for immediate action. Two, never give remote access to someone that you do not know. Three, verify any claims by contacting the company directly using their official number. Trust your instincts. If it feels like a scam, it probably is. To protect yourself from online threats, do the following. Use strong, unique passwords for every account. Always enable two-factor authentication for extra security. Avoid public Wi-Fi for sensitive tasks. And better yet, use a VPN to encrypt your connection. Regularly back up important data in case of a ransomware attack. These small steps make a big difference in keeping your information safe. Let's go over what not to do. One, don't click 
on any suspicious links or attachments. Two, don't download files from untrusted websites. Three, don't fall for urgent scare tactics in emails or phone calls. Four, don't reuse your passwords across different accounts. Taking a cautious approach online can save you from a lot of trouble. All right, let's recap. Spot phishing scams by checking for red flags in emails and texts. Avoid malware by downloading only from trusted sources. Recognize and hang up on tech support scams. Use strong passwords with two-factor authentication and use VPNs for secure browsing. Online threats are everywhere, but with these tips, you can navigate the internet safely. In the next video, we'll focus on privacy and how to guard your personal data in the age of constant tracking. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there.